This is the boundary. It is a cycling slew generator and a four quadrant VCA. The cycling slew section is in the tradition of the surge universal slope generator, among many others. And the four quadrant VCA is somewhat a classic OTA design, but with output limiting and in a four quadrant configuration. If we plug the angle grinder into our VCA and bring up the bias, we can hear some audio. If we set our slew generator to cycling and bring up the CV, we will find that our slew output is normalized to our CV1 input. Our slew can cycle all the way up to audio rate and be modulated if we send in a trigger with cycling on, we can get sort of a ratcheting effect that's nice with CV over CV over the riser fall. If we turn our cycling off, we are now in a normal envelope VCA configuration. Let's create a kick drum sound by sending the envelope out to the FM input on the angle grinder. If we have a quick rise, we get a bit of a click, which helps with our, um, to create our kick drum sound. If we bring up the exponential amount, we can create even more of a click, and we can get rid of the click by bringing the rise up just a little bit. To create a nice kick drum slope, we probably also want some exponential curve on the fall. If you flip the invert slash shape switches, you can get logarithmic curves instead of exponential curves. Now let's trigger this second boundary with the same gate we're using with the first one and take its output and put it into the bounds input. The bounds is unique to the boundary and it replaces the threshold at which it shifts from rise to fall with an external signal. In this case, a second envelope. This becomes interesting when you turn cycle on And it allows for some bouncing ball type effects. Let's remove our frequency modulation. This is also nice with a more of a melodic sound. Note the rise and fall LEDs up here. The fall one corresponds to our end of rise output if we wanted to use that to trigger another module. Now I'm going to remove volts per octave. 
undo our cycle. So now we just have a straight repeating sequence. I'm going to put our trigger into the second boundary and take the end of rise output and put it into the first boundary. With the boundary as fast as it will go, you're getting the same gate sequence output. But if you bring up the rise, it will start to skip. In this way, it will ignore any trigger received while the rise stage is active. In this way, you can use it as a clock divider. This frequency divider will also work at audio rates. Let's take the output of the angle grinder into the trigger of this boundary and the out of the boundary into this VCA. If we bring the boundary up the audio rate, we can now use it to divide the angle grinder's frequency. If you add CV to this, you can get some interesting results. is the angle grinder. We would get a different sound if instead of using the main output, we use the end of rise output. 